Mark Rose here with Mid-Atlantic NostalgiaCon shooting for them and for me, I'm here with the good-looking, the debonair, Mr. Davy Jones. Hello, how are you doing? How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. Fans know you best from the monkeys. You've done so much. Teen icon, teen idol, and adult icon, an adult idol. You... I, I used to be a heartthrob, and now I'm a coronary. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Well put. I'm waiting for the rim shot. That yeah, was right. good. Oh, yeah, well, that's why I left the drummer at home. <laughs> There'd be too many rim shots. Well, let me ask you. I'm, I'm probably go eight or ten minutes, and that's it. You getting your stuff. Who can last that long these days? I, I know. My God, your arm. You've been signing hundreds of autographs here this weekend. You probably like... No, no. I was on the roof yesterday fixing the roof, so <laughs> my hammer hand is in good shape. <laughs> good, good. Uh, yeah. Way back when in the day, and I do remember it, you definitely joined the Monkees, the band, the, the show. Oh, I, I missed, the, I missed the line there. What's the <laughs> difference between pink and purple? What? The grip. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love it. Hey, man. I can't, this Get guy, me going, this guy. This guy's good. Thank you very much. You know, I was six foot four and I had hair before this interview. Yeah, so was I. I got hit by an elevator. <laughs> getting that role, getting that part, getting involved with that. Tell me how that came about for you, sir. I was on Broadway doing Oliver, the Artful Dodger I was playing. I did the Ed Sullivan show. Screen Gems Columbia saw me in the show. They said that they would like to sign me up. They signed me up to a seven-year long-term contract. Then the monkey's idea came along, and they put me in that. And the rest is um, the rest is a blur. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> History to us, a blur for you. Yeah, really. You did such a wonderful job. What would you say are some of the best personal highlights for you? Doing, doing that series, doing that show, sir. So. When I audited Rhino Records and I got paid finally. Yeah. That was my most ex fun experience. <laughs> no, 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 I haven't done that, that but I'm on my way. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, I mean, my God, you, you're, you are an icon in this history. You're out signing autographs. How does it make you feel? Well, you know, I... I I'm just I'm a regular guy, but I mean, look at the fans. Remember, remember me the way you hoped I'd be. And I have uh, happy memories of the monkeys and also Oliver and many other things that I've taken part on in my career. But, yes, um, yes. you know, it's about now. It's Good. about doing what you're doing now. It you is. can't keep... No passengers. You can't take everything with you all the time. But I'm grateful to be here. I enjoy this here. I enjoy yes, seeing Patty Duke and seeing Karen Valentine and, and many other of the uh, um, entertainers yes, that sir. I've uh, admired over the years. Yes, so hey, just keep going. You know, plugging away. It is, and they admire you as well. What would you say is uh, one of your favorite roles? One of your favorite uh, on stage, uh, Broadway? Anything that you've done? Well, I, I, I played the awful Dodger and Oliver, but in exactly. the in the late '80s, early '90s, I played the part of Fagin yes. uh, in Kansas City at the Starlight Theater and the Mooney in St. Louis and Seattle, uh, Florida. So that was a quite a, a, a happy experience for me to be uh, yes, to play a character instead of uh, the guy that got stars in his eyes, kissed the girls, and yeah. fell in love at least three times an episode. <laughs> and that's a better record than Captain Kirk from the Enterprise, though. So. Well, you know, he he had his problems. You know what I mean? I think he had a little bit of a space drag or something. You know what I mean? I'm not that. Right on. A, 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 and then one of the other characters, I understand, he's now in drag, but yeah. that's another story altogether. <laughs> You are fantastic. Is there a couple of people that you've worked with in your career that you really, really admired and enjoyed working with? Well, obviously Mickey, Peter, and Mike, you know, that yes. was the ultimate uh, deal. We traveled uh, 56 countries, uh, uh, you know, showed the monkeys. We did, you know, 50 plus episodes, yes, made a movie, TV specials. And the idea that it still uh, is enjoyed is is a, is a, very, is a comfort. Good. So that's Good. about it. And you do come out, sign autographs. How was that for you? The feedback, seeing the fans, signing your autograph, that that instantaneous feedback after such a, a wonderful career. How how was that for you? You know, that's a, it's difficult when we're doing concerts to be able to go out the front and sign autographs and do stuff because you know you got a theater full of people. Sure. This is a little bit more uh, informal and uh, we're able to you know listen to a few stories and sign pictures that i've never even seen before right i know but i saw that you were there a couple guys brought some stuff and you were like where'd you get those yeah and i said that's not me that's <laughs> david cassidy <laughs> gotta throw in well, a like, no 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 yeah well no, no, no. i mean they're all different you know I, I you know tony orlando these things 
he's singing knock three times on the ceiling if you hear me fall, you know what I mean? <laughs> Peter Noon singing, Mrs. Brown, you got a lovely walker. <laughs> And Willie Nelson's on the throne again. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Abba's singing Denture Queen. Uh, Paul, got a book going Paul, right here. Paul Simon's singing 50 Ways to Lose Your Liver. And Ringo Starr singing I, little get, I Get a Little Help from Depends. What can you do? I mean, Fantastic. Roberta Flack singing First Time I Ever Forgot Your Face. <laughs> What well, can you do? That's because I take care of my dad. He's got Actually, all Actually, so David yeah, Cassidy yeah. si singing, I think I love me. <laughs> that would be par for the course. Now, what shows are you looking forward to doing in the future? You've got, uh, as far as professionally speaking, what do you've got going that you can tell us that uh, we can we can put in the magazine, put in the just the Just finished a musical that we've okay. been writing for a number of years, myself and another artful dodger that took over from me in London back in the 60s. We've been friends for 50 years. Wow. And uh, we uh, we finished the musical. Uh, the musical is called The Call. The Call, C A L L. It's a traditional musical, much like Mame, or it's much like Oliver, much like Showboat, much like you know the stuff that you know Broadway was really you know you know sort of known for. Sure. There's no stomping or banging or clanging. It's all about tradition. So good. that that's what we we're, we're happy about. Good, good. We look forward to that. And you personally. What do you enjoy doing when, and if you have some downtime, do you collect anything? I mean, people here collecting your autographs. Collect I, was on, I was on the freeway with my daughter in Los Angeles, and we were in a traffic jam. And she says, I said, how can you stand this? She says, Dad, we use it as downtime. I don't know what downtime is. She probably has cloud sandwiches for lunch as well, you know what I mean? I have no idea about downtime. I, I, if I'm not uh, traveling, performing, and working, I'm... I, I'm busy on the roof, or I'm fixing a leak in the sink, or I'm, you know, doing all the things that fathers and grandfathers do. I got four beautiful daughters, Outstanding. four girls, Good. and um, I have uh, two grandsons and a granddaughter, and um, I'm an absolutely beautiful wife. So we're Good. we're, we're moving man. along there, just trying to keep ahead of father time. Right on, very good. And he's way behind you, so no worries there. Really? Right on. Uh, do you collect anything at all? I mean, do you have, like, uh, with, with the autographs people collect, is there anything that you really cherish that you... I have, I have a church in uh, Pennsylvania, in Beavertown, Pennsylvania, that I'm turning into a memorabilia museum, a children's wow. theater. I've been working on it many years, and uh, I have more memorabilia on the monkeys than uh, who and... Uh, you know the the stones and all that kind of stuff Fantastic. so all that will be displayed and uh, as well as putting on live theater so we'll Good. see what happens with that great one last question what would you like to say to fans that are coming out uh, they, they love you they love your career any words for the fans sir? just thanks for all the support and hopefully that uh, your life uh, is as happy as you've made mine thank you outstanding thank you sir Mr. Davy Jones all right and would you take a shot shaking his hand and then the interview is over let me get a one more and there you go.